Olympia has bats. Hi, I'm Francine Viola, Realtor in Olympia, Washington, and this is part two of my live and rule videos. My first live and rule video does have a good tip about getting your trash bins down along driveway. I will say the garbage commander has been a godsend to me every week. But in this video, you can see the early stages of me freaking out by living in the country because at that time, a mouse had just gotten into our house and it was also at that time we realized not only did we just have one rogue mouse in the house, we had about five acres of mice running around. And we have big bugs. Over these last three years since we have moved into our home, we've seen a lot of animals, like deer. At first they were cute, but when they started eating all the expensive plants, we then had to build an expensive fence. We have also awakened to a herd of elk in our yard. We've seen a bobcat hang out on a stump and then cavalierly walk across the driveway. Lots of birds like bald eagles, hawks, owls, and all types of woodland birds. Plus chipmunks, rabbits, salamander snakes, and so many bugs and other creepy crawly things. Now add to this list, bats. I discovered the bats accidentally, which is always a bad way to discover bats. I had just bought a patio umbrella for our deck and in the evening I would close up the umbrella. The next day when I opened it, these brown fuzzy things flopped out and clumsily flew away. I screamed, but since I'm out in the forest, no one heard me scream. Here is where my umbrella has been ever since. The bats were sleeping in the folds of the umbrella and apparently this is common. If you Google this, other people have the same issue. Now I know many of you are saying, gee, I wish I had bats at my house. I wish I lived in an area with bats. Bats are so beneficial, Francine. Yes, I know, but I just don't want to hang out with them while sitting out on my deck. Thurston County made the news recently. Earlier this month, bats that were captured tested positive for rabies. But if that isn't bad enough, what is even more horrifying, at least to me, is these bats had entered this couple's home and ended up in their bedroom. If you'd like to see bats flying around in nature, you are in luck if you live in Olympia. You can see them at Capitol Lake in downtown Olympia and also further north at Woodard Bay. At Woodard Bay, there is a colony of bats living under an old railroad trestle, and during the summer, you can see them flying out at night looking for bugs. Olympia doesn't have dangerous wildlife like the mountain regions of the Pacific Northwest. You're not going to run into a grizzly bear or a mountain lion or a rattlesnake, for example. You might have a few crazy squirrels or two, but you'll be fine. If you still want to live in this wildlife-infested place, give me a call. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.